How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb Man here, and look at this. Sid Meier, Civilization VI Gathering Storm DLC. This DLC came out about a month ago. I uh, was always planning on getting a series done, but uh, I wanted to get up to date with all the features, and I also wanted to finish the current series that I got going on on YouTube. But you know what? I've been working like a maniac recently. I couldn't fall asleep. I haven't been able to fall asleep in like the last three days. I was lying there in bed, and I thought to myself, get out of bed, get downstairs, and start up the Civ 6 Gathering Storm series. So let's go, boys! And the great thing about this, you guys have been calling for it. Look at the uh, look at the civilization that we get to use. Wilfred Laurier's Canada, baby! The last best west allows farms to be built on tundra terrain, so you can build farms in the snow. After civil engineering it's, uh, is unlocked, farms can be built on tundra hills. So that's even good for uh, production as well, like two food, one production. Reduces the cost of purchasing snow, snow hills, tundra hills, and tundra tiles by 50% so you can use that money and expand your borders. 100% extraction rate of accumulated resources on snow, snow hills, tundra hills, and tundra tiles. So if we find any oil or iron or anything up there in the snow, it's doubled. 100% extraction rate. Wow, it's doubled. So there's a lot of new features on this game. We'll go over it uh, piece by piece, as we always have done in the past. But look at these uh, features for Canada. Oh, hang on a second. I can't move my mouse. Canada, four faces of peace. Cannot declare war on city-states or surprise war. So I can't go to war just willy-nilly. I have to have a reason for it. Surprise wars cannot be declared on Canada. So no computers are going to pull any shenanigans on Canada either. I can't be declared war on unless they uh, denounce me first. So I'll know it's coming. For every 100 tourism per turn, earn one diplomatic favor per turn. Receive 100% diplomatic favor from successfully completing an emergency or scored competition. We'll get to all that, what that means. But look at this next little feature. The ice hockey rink unlocks builder ability to construct an ice hockey rink unique to Canada. You can build one of these in each city. It's got to be on a, uh, you know what, I'll read it. One plus amenity. One plus culture for adjacent tundra, tundra hills, snow, and snow hills tiles. Provides tourism from culture once flight is unlocked to fly around and uh, bring NHL teams there. Two plus food and production once the professional sports is unlocked. We can get the NHL go, baby. And um, plus four culture if adjacent to stadium building. Can be built on tundra, tundra hills, snow, snow hills, and one per city. Two plus appeal. My god. So we're really going to have to... Uh, work on getting that hockey rink and the NHL built up in Canada. Ottawa Senators, Toronto Maple Leafs, Montreal Canadiens, Winnipeg Jets, Edmonton Oilers, Calgary Flames, and the Vancouver Canucks. Let's go. Let's get it going. So um, the one thing I'm going to uh, ensure on this playthrough is that I get a really good start. I want to be in the north and I want to have a good start. So I don't care if you guys say it's cheap, whatever. Game difficulty, we're going to go to King. I find anything above King, the computer gets a really cheap start. They get multiple warriors, multiple settlers, multiple scouts. King, they get the one settler. They get a few warriors, but uh, one city, so that's good for me. Game speed is going to... Listen, listen to this music, my god. Game speed is going to be standard. Uh, the map type, we're going to go to a Pangea map type. So everyone is on the same continent. It'll get a lot of action happening. And uh, like I said earlier with the emergencies, which is new, and I'll explain that to you guys later. Where is it? Where's the emergency? Somewhere... Something about emergencies. Um, the more that's happening, more wars that are going on, the more help that Canada may be called on. So, uh, Pangea, I think, works out for us. Map size, we're going to go standard, right? So there's a lot going on in the world. Disasters. That's the, another whole new feature to this. Gathering storm. Volcanoes going off, all right? Hurricanes, tornadoes, droughts. Your civilization can be ravaged by Mother Earth but also can uh, benefit from it. Now, disaster intensity, you can go up to four. I find two is pretty good. You get enough on two. Uh, well, let's not go crazy. We can always do a live stream where we put it up to four. And here we go, the advanced settings. So, so far with the standard map, there's eight leaders. I'm gonna throw in 10. All right, and city-states, yeah, we're gonna go 12. So 10 civs, 12 city-states. Uh, King, Ancient Era, we're gonna start in. The game speed is going to be standard. Map, Pangea, map size, all these are gonna be standard. Resources, standard. World age, standard. Start position, standard. Temperature, standard. Rainfall, standard. Sea level, standard. We can win by culture. Diplomatic. Uh, domination. Religious. Science. Not score, though. I'm turning off the score victory. And also, uh, limits turns by game speed. No turn limit. So the game can go forever. 
You got to win by one of these ways. Culture, di uh, diplomacy, domination, religious, or a science victory. So I think that's pretty good. If anyone wants to get the map seed, there it is. But uh, I'd imagine I'm going to reset a few times until we get a good start. So Sean Bean, please tell me you came back for the Canadian DLC. Beaner, Ned Stark. Don't, don't, you, don't you make me vamp now. Loading, please wait for how long, Sean Bean? From the better. First there he is. Of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization, on towards the stars. You chose the sunny ways, Wilfred Laurier. And make cheerfulness and courtesy the character of the Canadian people. Hell yeah. Where others look to divide and sow mistrust, you inspire cooperation and understanding. Show the world that a unified people can forever stand the test of time. I will do it, Ned Stark. All right, so uh, that's good. He came back for the DLC. I like that, though. Show the world that a unified people can forever stand the test of time. Let's go, Canada! Let's begin our civilization. So we should go over all this stuff. These are all the new features. I'll read it out for you guys. Welcome to Civilization VI, Gathering Storm. This guide will introduce you to new features in this expansion. Additional information can be found in the Civilopedia and Advisor Tips. Next, the World Congress. All right, so uh, this is a new feature for Civ Six. The World Congress is where you make your voice heard amongst the other civilizations in the world. It is also an important part of the new diplomatic victory. Proposals are sent before the World Congress for vote. And come in two types, resolutions and discussions. Resolutions affect all civilizations, such as banning a luxury resource or gaining extra amenities from each copy of the resource. Discussions are potential scored competitions or emergencies that members of the World Congress may join, like World Games or a religious emergency. Say a city-state falls, there might be an emergency to retake it. Members can summon a special session if they have an emergency they need addressed, like a request for aid after a natural disaster. So the World Congress has a lot going for it now. Uh, let's go next. Diplomatic favor is a new form of currency in the game. It's for diplomacy, for the... Uh, for, uh, what was it called again? The World Congress. That's what the uh, diplomatic favor works for. Your diplomatic actions will earn you diplomatic favor that can be used in the World Congress to help you or hinder others. Basically, it's for voting. Your voting power. Diplomatic favor can be earned through alliances, city-states, of which you are the suzerain, success in scored competitions, and more. There are major and minor ways to gain diplomatic favor throughout the game. Uh, through the game, some actions will grant a large payout of favor all at once, and some will grant it slowly over time. Try trading for other players' favor to strengthen your position in the World Congress, right? You can trade for diplomatic favor. You can spend your diplomatic favor to extract promises from other players, call special sessions of Congress, and buy votes in World Congress, or save up diplomatic favor throughout the game to pursue diplomatic victory points in later eras, okay? So, diplomacy is going to be World Congress and Diplomatic Favors. Next up, gather dipl uh, diplomatic victory points to pursue the new diplomatic victory. So, if we're Canada, diplomacy might be the uh, the road to victory for us. Starting in the modern era, so we gotta get late game here. Players will be able to use their diplomacy favor in the World Congress to compete for di diplomatic victory points. Win the resolution to bring yourself closer to victory, or to prevent other players from achieving their own. Other players may request aid when they have been affected by a particularly catastrophic natural disaster. Provide the most aid in ensuing in the ensuing scored competition and you'll be gained and you'll gain more diplomatic victory points. So diplomacy, that's gonna be something late game. Alright. Oh my god, there's a lot here. The previous war the previous warmongering system has been replaced with a new representation of how players view your warlike actions grievances all right so you can keep up with how other civilizations view your actions and it's all grievances all right now when other players wrong you by denouncement declaration of war or capturing or raising one of your cities you gain grievances against them and may retaliate in kind with the world's approval so if you have a grievance against against the civ you can go on the offense against them and it's not the same as going on the offense with someone that you have no grievances against basically the world understands that they've wronged you no longer will you be denounced 
for a fair, punitive capture, uh, city capture after an unjustified war. All right, so that's really cool, that system. You may also use grievances to request promises from other players, such as, like, don't settle cities near me, don't uh, spy on me, uh, stuff like that. If the other player continues to go against your wishes, though, uh, that you indicate in this manner, they will continually generate grievances that you can then justify a war against them. So that's really cool. But the world at large still pays attention to the overall grievances that other players have against you. If you have grieved other players more than they have grieved you, third parties will notice and it will impact your opinion of you. So we have to really pay attention to diplomacy this year. Now here's where it gets fun, all right? Natural disasters. In Civ 6 Gathering Storm, the environment around you is more alive than ever before. Natural disasters like floods, storms, and volcanoes can pillage or destroy your improvements and districts, but they might refresh and enrich the lands after they pass. This is what I mean about it actually being a benefit for you. From blizzards to dust storms, from tornadoes to hurricanes, storms are another challenge to overcome. Flooded rivers may damage your improvements, but they might improve the food yield on a tile as well. Alright. Okay, look at that. Volcanoes are high risk, but high reward. Settlement locations or high, yeah, settlement locations. Volcanic eruptions can pillage or destroy improvements, districts, and buildings, and even kill or damage units, but volcanic soil is highly valuable and very fertile, alright? Uh, geysers, geothermal, geothermal fissures are now are new features that provide benefits to nearby buildings or districts like additional amenities or tourism. All right. Now, what is this? Strategic resources. Oh, yeah, this is a whole new thing. It's like, um, it's a bank of resources that you have to save up now. Strategic resources have been divided into two types, fuel and material. Fuel resources are used to meet the power needs of your cities, whereas material resources are uh, required to produce resource-dependent units. Manage the power in your city to make late-game buildings more effective, like a factory. You can get like an oil factory or a, or a, a, a nuclear uh, facility. Trade material resources and fuel with other civilizations. Yep. And then your uh, the, uh, the world climate. Your choices about resource usage will directly affect the world's temperature. So if you're using too much oil, CO2 levels go going up polar ice caps might melt sea levels also go uh and can cause rising sea levels some coastal tiles will be at risk of becoming flooded or completely submerged when settling cities consider the risk of these coastal lowland tiles but keep in mind that in the atomic era flood barriers can be used to protect these tiles so you can actually get technology to protect any flooded tiles that's interesting burning fuel heats up the atmosphere leading to melted ice caps and rising sea levels your settler will now tell you uh, if you are building a city in a area that uh, low near or uh, in a city low area near the coast and the flood barrier will help protect your city against a rising sea. All right, is that it? Oh my god. There's plenty more to explore in Civilization VI Gathering Storm, including new eras in the technology, the civic street, blah, blah, blah. New shit, all right? There you go. Oh my god. Well, your civilization, whether the, uh, the Gathering Storm or... Or how will you rule in Sid Meier's Civilization VI? I've read too much. I'm trying to get through it now. Continue. This Finally! has floodplains, which means it has flooded before and might burst its banks again. A flood along this river could happen at any point in the future. This presents us with risks, but potentially benefits too. Alright, so floodplains, we're seeing it. But, I do not like this start. If we're going to be Canada, we need to be in the north. We're not being in the Antarctic, screw that. So I'm picking my start, boys, and then we'll take it. Alright, restarting. No, again, we're in the south. No way, Canada's got to be in the north. Restart. Son of a bitch, we're in the south again. Give me the goddamn north. Holy crap, they just won't stop friggin' settling us in the south. I want the north. I don't care how good it looks. I want the north. All right, we're getting hit with some real Sid Meier voodoo shit right here. What the? Is that four? Four in a row, we're in the south. I want the great white north. Alrighty, we got the north, baby, finally. And I gotta say, I'm liking this start. This is looking pretty good. So we got a little settler right here. He's got the tundra tiles, which uh, we can add farms to. But, uh, you know, oh my god, look at that tile. What is that? Ivory resource requires, uh, requires animal husbandry. I'd imagine it only adds on like two gold maybe. But the tile already is two food and three production. I want my city to be working that tile. So you know what I'm going to do with the Canadian settler? I'm going to listen to the game. Oh, I should even go down there. I'm going to go right here because then just one tile away and we'll be able to work that tile. Get a really good start. All right, so I'm going to take a turn here, which kind of sucks. But uh, that'll be a great tile to work. And from this tile, I still get the three food right over there. 
And I'm not missing out on anything. Yeah, we have some rice over here as well. Some rice, a nice floodplain river. But if I put the city here, we're not on the floodplains. Oh, this is a nice juicy start for the uh, for the Canadian Empire here. So I want to make sure I read all this stuff. I also want to let you guys know um, the format for these videos. I'm going to be going 30, 40 minutes. I'm going to make sure I'm consistent, but I don't want long upload times and rendering times. All right, so uh, 30, 40 minutes and we'll come back every day. Not every day. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll try to be as consistent as, as consistent as I can. But um, it's great because you guys are going to need to chime in as the Canadian citizens on what you want your leader to do next. So all those uh, breaks will actually be good. So with our warrior, our Canadian warrior, let's start to scout the land a little bit. The hell is this? How does that tile have a science? Oh my god, is there a great wonder right here? There might be. A, look at that tile. That's one food, two production, one gold, one faith, one science. This is, I mean, another city. One, two, three. Ooh, we can have a nice little start to our empire right here. Might want to expand early. So next turn, as we go from 4,000 BC to 3960, let's see what the world uncovers. I think this is going to be a world wonder. Yes, the it is. The Valley to me is always a sunrise, a glitter of green and golden wonder in a vast edifice of stone and space. Ansel Adams. Yo, uh, Yosemite. Our All civilization right. has accomplished something Oh historic, yeah, this is new too. Worthy of being celebrated and remembered for generations to come. These accomplishments help our civilization reach a golden age and avoid a dark age. Okay, so, oh, and we have, uh, we've got our boosted uh, tech, or we got a tech boost to astrology for finding the natural wonder. Beautiful. So, um, when it comes to this game, Every time you jump up to the next, uh, jump up to the next era. So we, we're in the classical. I mean, we're in the ancient era. When we get to the classical era, then the next era, um, you have a certain score. Now, for us to get to a normal age, by the time we get to the classical era, we have to have a score of at least. There's 39 to 59 turns left. Uh, we have to get a score of at least t uh, 12 to 23. Anything 24 or above will be in a golden age. Anything 11 or less will be in a dark age. And this affects how um, your civilization goes forward. It's not the end of the world. Dark age has really hurt loyalty. We'll get to that. But uh, based on finding the world wonder, we already got plus three to our score. And it shows it right here. Look at this. Boom. Explorers of Canada are the first from a uh, major civilization to set eyes on uh, Yosemite. All right, beautiful. In the ancient era. Three plus score. Nice. Tech boosted to astrology. All right, that'll help. And we found uh, the natural wonder. So it looks like this natural wonder gives one plus science and one plus gold to every tile around it. All right, that's good. I don't need to settle there. Let's go into the north and try to find. Look at all that science. I, I, I want to settle there, but I don't need to settle this guy over there. I'm not going looking. I like this city, and I want that tile with all that food. Uh, it's along a river, so we got that fresh water. Uh, plenty of amenities. We have a silk, which is only three away right there. Uh, the uh, the ivory is a luxury resource. Then we have the dyes, which is four away, but I'm thinking that's my second city. All right, that could be the city of Taranta. All right, so uh, let's get our capital city down, though. Ottawa, baby. The citizens of Ottawa adjust to their new home and keep a wary eye on a nearby river. There we go. The Canadian music kicks in, baby. Yes, and we're going to hear O Canada as well. I love this music. Dun, 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 dun. You know, I won't ruin it by uh, humming over it. I'll let you guys just appreciate it. All right, so Yosemite, we found that. We uh, have uh, settled Ottawa, which is next to a floodplain. Don't worry, the city is itself is not in a floodplain. But say I was to put down a district right there, that district would get flooded, and I would need to repair the buildings inside that district. So look at Ottawa, boys. Everyone watching this video, you're somewhere in that village. So, Ottawa, what do we want to produce first? Well, first off, which tile are we working with Ottawa? We are working this food tile. So, there's not much that we can produce. If I wanted to purchase this tile, it's going to cost 50. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a little bit of a slower start production-wise for us here in Ottawa. But that's okay. In fact, I might even... Let me see this. If I take it off that and I go over here. Because I'll sacrifice a food. I'm going to grow in five turns. That we're going to grow in seven turns. But I can get a scout done in eight. Now, you know what? Let's just grow take our time with the scout that's okay let's get our population up to two and then we can really take off that'll help us with the settler all right yeah because i want that second city so we'll go with scout which is going to take eight turns but once we uncover this uh this tile that production and food will go way up so we just need to get our population up and also get that tile unlocked all right so research what do we want to go after i'd say 
some camps. We're going to need animal husbandry for the deer. And we're going to need animal husbandry for the, uh, the cattle. And also, we're going to need animal husbandry for the ivory. And uh, animal, hus animal husbandry will also uncover any horse resource that uh, is hidden right now. So yeah, I think animal husbandry is something that we need to target. So I think that's it, Canadians. Let us continue into our civilization's future. All right, unit needs order, this guy. So we're just going to go around with our uh, warrior right now. We got the ocean, so this whole northern uh, area is ours for the taking. I'm going to go down here and just uh, take a look at, oh man, like a city on the coast. Snagging up all of that with that wonder in there. That's good science. And then as well, you could put your um, you could put your campus district along one of these mountains. Maybe get a adjacent bonus of two or something. That's interesting. All right, so is this, let me tell me it's, yes. Okay, so it's going to naturally take that border in seven turns. So we'll grow in four. We'll get that two population. So in fact, if we're going to grow in four, I'm going to use this tile. Because, uh, yeah, we can grow in six, which is going to open it up for seven. And seven as well for the scout. Yeah, here we go. Yes. Yes, they're singing O Canada, baby. In all thy son's command. <laughs> I love it, man. I'll shut up. This sounds awesome. I can't, I can't stop singing it. Fuck it. If you guys don't like it, I don't care. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. <laughs> I'm getting patriotic here, boys. I'm the leader, after all. All right, so we got some truffles resource. Oh, look at that. We got a river. Second city right there. Right there. One, two, three. One, two, three. You're going to miss out on that dyes resource, but it will be um, it will be in our borders once these two cities grow. Point is, you get fresh water, you can pick up some turtles, and you get this wonder in there. Freaking beauty. All right, you guys let me know, man. Oh, I'm so patriotic right now. This is awesome. And yes, it's in all thy son's command. I don't care. I had to stand up every day in school and sing it. I ain't changing now. I'm an old geezer. All right, it can be for the young generation. So some more silk resources down here. This river looks juicy, boys. We got to control that river. All right, I want to keep on looking with my uh, warriors. I'm going to come back this way, swing back around to the east. So our population is going to grow in three turns, scout in four. And I uh, just want to keep on top of this. And that in four. So I might as well save my gold. Let's go next turn. Let's see what happens. All right, so our warrior unit. Let's continue to go south and to the east. I want to make sure I get all this. There you go. Oh, my God. So look at this. I mean, it's got a dyes resource beside it. It's got wheat. It's got wheat. It's got truffles. It's got a forest. It's got sheep. I don't even know if settling right, yeah, settling right there would be the best bet. Or maybe even settling right there along the fresh water. I mean, you could settle in a different area to encompass everything, but you want the fresh water so that the housing is not an issue. That's that's such a good start. Now, I, this is why I wanted the north. This is why I wanted the north. Oh, that's you. Woo! It's cold up here in the north. We'll be sneezing. But, uh, yeah, it's juicy with resources, baby. All right, so let's continue. Unit needs orders. Uh, I want to. Yeah, I, I don't want to send them out too far. I want to get around Ottawa, and then the scout will be out. So let's keep the warrior nice and close. Let's go down here and see if we can find any more villages. So lots of luxury resources around us. We got a silk, we got a turtle, more silk, dyes, dyes up there, silk, uh, ivory. Oh, this music is awesome. The Canadian music is so freaking awesome, man. I love listening to it. All right, so. <laughs> I'm just going to be singing this entire time. More fertile lands down here. I mean, look at all this grassland. This was such a good start for Canada. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. Yes. All right, barbarians. We're being attacked from northern barbarians. Business units like scouts are unique in that they can gain experience by exploring and discovering parts of the world. All right, so our first scout has been completed, which is going to send our warrior back to deal with these barbarian scouts. There must be an encampment up there in the north. Crazy ass nomads. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna send my scout over here. Steam hisses from the ground here, rising in swirling clouds. This is a geothermal fissure, a place where the planet's heat escapes through natural vents. All right, so we found a geothermal fissure up here in the north as well. So uh, remember, all those bonuses from Tundra Tile, second city right there, encompass all of that. Ooh, baby. 
All right, so auto went up to a population of two, and we snagged up this tile. So I'm going to turn that off now. We're getting three production, two plus food, one gold, and also three more production. So let me just see if I wanted to just bring out a scout. I'm just going to bring out the scout for right now. Hang on. I'm going to go back to the city pop or the city uh, production. And if I switch it to that, it's going to go to nine turns for growth, but four turns for production. Seven turns, six turns. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to focus on production for right now. I want these two tiles. I got to get some scouts out, and I want some builders as well. Builders are going to be huge. In fact, I think I want to build a, uh, another scout would be good because the scouts, you can get builders. Let's get two scouts out there. Then we'll get the builder. I know you guys probably want that second city, but uh, if we can improve Ottawa, we're going to get a nice boost here from the beginning because it is a city that's capable. Um, we'll have a, a production from this, uh, this uh, what's it called, this cattle resource. More production down here. I'd say a good population of four would be good for Ottawa before we start getting a settler. Because we can work this tile, that tile, that tile, and maybe get a horse uncovered here around the city as well. So three or four population before we start uh, spreading out. All right? So, yeah. And we can use uh, some warriors as well. Yeah, let's take this one step at a time. We need everything. <laughs> it's 3,640 BC. We need everything. <laughs> uh, all right. So he's going to go back and tell his barbarian encampment, his buddies, where the city of Ottawa is. This volcano is quiet. Volcano, now, we found a volcano. It could erupt again at some point in the future. It might be a danger to our people or an unexpected blessing. Yeah, this is the thing. A volcano in the tundra? If that goes off, it's going to fertilize all these tiles. Could be real good for us, boys. I'm going to go north. So it looks like the ocean is right there. Another city right there along the river. Could be useful. Let's go next turn. Yeah, I want the two scouts. I am fond of pigs. Dogs look up to us. Cats look down on us. Pigs treat us as equals. Winston S. Churchill. He likes pigs. So animal husbandry is completed. However, unfortunately, we did not uncover any horse resource next to our borders. Makes sense. We're already uh, we already have plenty of resources. Would have been nice. So I think uh, three population is all we need. Well, we could work that tile as well. Three or four population. I'm going to stay there. All right, so what do we want next for our uh, tech? A granary. Granary wouldn't be bad. It also allows harvesting of wheat and rice, which uh, we can put farms down. And that would increase it. So one, two, three with our... Yeah. We'll do that. We'll get our population to three once it gets to four. And then we can start getting the settler and always be working those three tiles. So the population is going to skyrocket, but we'll still have some production. So in the meantime, let us get uh, yeah, let's get pottery done, and then we'll get mining done, and then we can take off from there. Okay, we'll get the three basics, uh, and also in the meantime, we can try to uncover any of these uh, these boosts. So founding a city on the coast will help us with sailing, uh, farming a resource. That's why I want to get uh, pottery done. So when we get our builder, I can farm that rice resource, get a boost to uh, irrigation. Uh, what else do we need? Writing, meet another civilization, so that's good. I won't go for writing until we come across. That's what the scouts are for. And kill a unit with a slinger. Okay, so I might not do that one because uh, I like warriors, but uh, we'll see. So I don't think I don't want to miss out on any villagers that might be up here. Yeah, I want to go. I want to continue to go north. Let's go around this volcano. Let's get the outsides taken care of first. All right, so warrior, you're gonna come back. We gotta go take care of that barbarian encampment. We can get some money from killing it, and also an era score uh, bonus by clearing an encampment. So let's take care of it. All right, you're up here. Is there any way around? Yes, there is. Man, that looks so cool. So all these tiles are going to become real good if that volcano goes off. All right. Ottawa. There you go. So our warrior has returned back to the borders of Ottawa, and now we have our second scout. So I'm going to send him out down here to the, uh, to the southeast. We had a little bit over there, but they'll both rotate. I might be able to find some more uh, villagers over here. So Ottawa's up to two population. We still want to get it up to uh, four before the next settler. It's saying to get a settler, but nah, I don't have enough production. I got to keep my population up there. What we need right now is a builder. If we can find a builder out there with the scouts, that's great. But we need to get a builder so that we can uh, uh, improve these tiles. And then we can go for the settler. It'll get built a lot quicker and the capital can recover. So scout, let's go. What do we found? Oh, we found another continent. Having discovered another continent, we realize there is a wide world of trading opportunities. Your advance, your progress towards uh, foreign trade has advanced considerably. So, exploring is doing us uh, a great job. Man, if you were to put a campus right there, one, 
that might even be a um, that might be one way in. That could be like a four plus adjacency bonus. Jesus. Uh, we found another continent, Valbara. So we're on America. Oh, that, that's even better. I didn't even realize that Canada is in America. Okay, good. It should be North America, but uh, it's kind of similar. Yeah, this is a good start for Canada, boys. Next turn. Oh, how much time? We're oh, man, the game goes by so quick. The first video, I'll give you guys something to bite down on. All right, we'll go more than 30 minutes. All right, so there is the scout. He's coming back. So the first bloodshed. The first uh, blood is about to be spilt for the Canadian Empire. We must take down the barbarians. Go, Canadian warriors! Soon, those clubs will be hockey sticks. This is where we learn how to hack and slash. <laughs> uh, 3,400 years ago. Or, uh, 36, uh, 3,600 years. Something like that. Forgot it. A long time ago. There you go. Let me see. What's in here? Oh, yeah. So, this cuts off. So, I'm, I, if I can get a city like somewhere there, maybe, along these mountains... And put a campus right there. You get an adjacency bonus of one, two, three, four. Four plus science per turn for simply having a campus in that tile. Freaking fantastic. All right, let's cross this river. Haven't really been uh, lucky with villagers, but uh, we got lucky with the start. So you can't get everything. Very fertile lands. More barbarians, though. They're popping up. I'm going to need military. New policies in our government can be of great benefit. Oh, good. This came just at the right time. Await your decree. Okay, that thank you. Best. Man is the noblest of all animals. Separated from law and justice, he is the worst. So we just completed the uh, civic code of laws. It's going to give us uh, two military uh, civics and two uh, economic civics. Urban planning, one plus production in all cities. God king, one plus faith, one plus gold in the capital. That would be good because we're not making any faith right now. We want to get a pantheon. Uh, survey, double experience for recon units, uh, but this is what we need, discipline. Five plus combat strength when fighting barbarians. So I'm going to throw that in there to our military policy, and I'm going to throw God King in there, right? Confirm. Boom. Bow down before your God King of Canada, Wilfred Laurier. All right, so Scout, you're going to come out here. It's going to take his time, but I'm glad that we scouted it out. We're going to go this way, see if we can find any villagers. More good lands over here. I just got to find a river. If I could find a river next to uh, this mountain range, that'd be great. All right, choose civic. What do we want to go for next? Let's go for uh, foreign trade. We've already got the um, the boost. Craftsmanship, improve three tiles. Well, we're going to be doing that once we get this builder. One, two, three. So we'll uh, we'll get two things here. We're going to get the irrigation boost, and we're going to get the... Uh, that civic boost. So things are coming together here. This warrior is stronger. He's going to go clear that encampment. Hopefully he doesn't die. Got to keep him alive. Scout, son of a bitch. He's running away. Where are your buddies? Tell me now. Show me where your friends are. I'll hunt them down. I'll eradicate them from the Canadian lands. Only we get to dwell in the north on the tundra tiles. Alright, so you. You're going to get your ass down here. You will leave him to go that way. You, we're going to go this way. Yeah, a lot of mountain ranges as well. Very interesting. All right, so I'm not going to go after the scout anymore. We're going to go try that, find that encampment. There it is. Encampment found in the north. The Canadian, the brave Canadian warriors. Braving the, uh, the, the rough, the rough, uh, weather of the, uh, the snow. In there, in the Arctic. Right there along the ice, uh, the ice caps. These guys, they got an encamp. What the hell are they living on? That crab resource in the water? Jeez. No wonder they're crabby. Uh, yeah, I can attack once. There you go. That plus five makes a uh, big difference. So, attack. There you go. Minus 37 to them. How much did I lose? Minus 32. So, I'm going to heal him back up right now. But he'll, he should survive. Don't worry. You guys are up there. A lot of hills. We got to get these upgrades for our scouts so we can move on hills. Another mountain pass that's locked in with a freaking river right there. So, oh my god. If you were to put a campus down there, one, two, three, four, five. Five plus. That's crazy. The most you can have is six. But, like, it would have to be, that would be a weird tile to work. It'd be surrounded by mountains. That's, that's crazy. If we could get... Like, I don't know where that river goes. I gotta uncover this. That could, if there's a river that runs there, that would be huge. This whole section. Plus that. That's the Canadian North right there. Alright, you go over here. Put Vancouver over there. Put uh, Toronto right there. Put uh, Montreal right there. <laughs> you can have a lot of fun. Uh, Newfoundland, PEI. Yeah, man. Oh, what the hell just happened? Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm screwing up the screen. There you go. I hope I didn't uh, mess with the recording right there. I think it's good. 
All right, so these scouts are running around. A lot of barbarians. I got to get a military after my uh, builder. But I don't think scouts come into your borders. I think they just go back and bring the uh, the real barbarians to your borders. So as long as I uh, don't attack them, I think we'll be okay. They, they may attack units. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go around. There's a uh, hills and a uh, tree as well. I think we'll be okay. Just don't want to lose that builder, though. They will steal builders, and oh my god, they just spawn a secondary unit. No man that ain't ever good. wetted clay. Fucking barbarians. As if there would be bricks by chance and fortune. Okay, so we got pottery, which is the granary, the great bath wonder. The floodplain tiles along the river containing the great bath are now immune to flood damage. So if we were able to build that wonder, our flood tiles would not flood. Uh, 50, uh, food and production bonuses from flooding drop by 50%, but they still happen. And floodplain tiles belonging to the city gain 1 plus faith each time flood damage is mitigated. It's not bad, but I think we have uh, bigger concerns right now than protecting these tiles around my capital. I got to get like a military out there. I got to get a lot of things. So yeah, we're working these three tiles now, which is exactly what I want. I'm going to lock them on. All right. And Canada can continue to grow. Ten turns. Beautiful. So you, we're going to walk around here. Oh, that might be a lake. Oh my God. That's a source of fresh water. We can get, we can get a campus in there. We can get a, like another one. This could be a major, you can put a city right there. One. One, two, three. No, it'd have to go. It might have to go right there. You get it with this city. Man, that's so weird. This is a cool start, though. We have to clear up these barbarians, though, boys. Uh, how much money do I got? 118. What can I purchase? Yeah, nothing just yet. Yeah, I got to clear an encampment. Now, this guy might be in trouble if he stays over here. So I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to move him back. I don't want him to die. That would be such a waste. All right, they got two units. I got to heal them back up. All right, so we got pottery done. Uh, mining allows chopping of woods and harvesting of copper. We can build quarries and mines. Now, do we have any stone around us? I have some mines. Yeah, I'm gonna want. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I'm gonna want production in this place. So let's just get the three basics done. All right, I'm gonna get mining done. There you go. Then we'll focus on what we want to go for next. But I think right now, if I'm, uh, if I'm to guess or to. Uh, to come up with a plan, we have to protect our borders right now. It seems like we are surrounded by a bunch of... All this open land is going to mean barbarians, so I've got to uh, cover that up. Alright, so it's just the one barbarian now, so I'm going to heal him up. He should be okay against the, just the one warrior. You. Let's go up here. Oh my god, another encampment, and that closes off. So, uh, the mountain ranges actually block off this whole area. From this mountain... All the way around here, all the way up to there, all the way to there, it's cut off. So that's really good for us. That's like a natural fortification to our eastern flank of Ottawa. So, I mean, putting a city right there along that fresh water. I mean, the amount of district bonuses that you could work with. And we could even take that other side. And then once you uh, get chemistry, which is ways away, but it's cool. This is also a new feature. Where's chemistry? Chemistry. There you go. Mountain tunnel. Uh, unlocks the military engineer ability to construct a mountain tunnel. So you can construct roads that essentially go through mountains. That would be dominant. That's like a Canadian, uh, Canadian wall, baby. The eastern wall. All right, I like that. But uh, again, more barbarians. That's funny. That scout barbarian got spawned behind, so he can't move. Perfect for us. All right, so these scouts can both go back to the uh, to the west now. All right, so yeah, you're gonna come up there. You, you're gonna run away. Ottawa, what do we want to build? Now, I did want that settler, but uh, only when we get to four population. I think more of a military right now. Haven't met any other civilizations, so I highly doubt someone's gonna put their uh, put another city right there. Uh, monument would be good. Granary, we don't need housing. We have plenty of housing. I think I need... Yeah, let's get uh, let's get some more military. I'll get the Slinger. It's uh, cheaper, and if we can get a kill with the Slinger, it'll be uh, the advancement for our uh, archery, all right? Now, we got the Builder done. We can have some fun. So I'm going to go down here first. We're going to improve this rice resource. Boom. And that's the advancement for irrigation. Farming resources has given you an appreciation of the importance of irrigating your crops. Your knowledge of irrigation has advanced considerably. Oh, thank you. Look at that beautiful rice tile. So now even more food, which will get us the four, per, uh, four population even quicker, which will allow us to get that settler. So uh, I know you guys probably wanted the early settler, but uh, turn 21, we're focusing on getting Ottawa to a pretty good early city. We have three real good tiles that we could work, and I'm going to improve them, all right? Uh, we have two scouts over here that we can send to the south and to the west now. And here we go, getting attacked. Getting attacked in the north by the damn barbarians. 
But these guys are doing a good job. They've just got to get an upgrade. They just continue to heal. But I heard the barbarian noise go off. There you go. Another encampment just spawned on uh, the city of Vancouver. Should be anyways. So more barbarians are spawning around us, boys. That's okay. That's okay. We can handle it. We can handle it. We're ca we got the Canadian spirit. All right. These damn treacherous terrorists will not kill the Canadian spirit. All right. You are going to go over here. We're going to get this... Uh, this camp done, which will give us a little bit more gold. You're going to heal up. I need to get this guy an upgrade. He'll get an upgrade, I think, the next time he attacks. You can see 12 to 15, level 2. All right, you're just going to stay right there. Yeah, stay right there. There you go. Next turn. All right, let's continue, shall we? Let's see. Live, live. Oh, my God. He's down to one versus one. Thank God I moved him back from that Spearman, right? But uh, he's fought enough now. Promotion available. Battle cry. Seven plus uh, combat strength versus melee and ranged units. This is the whole tree. Tortoise is pretty good as well. Ten plus combat strength when defending against ranged attacks. So if you're attacking a city, really good. But we're attacking barbarians, so battle cry. And we get ourselves a nice little boost in uh, in health. All right. So and the I don't think the barbarians heal, so that's really good for us. All right. Another encampment right there. I mean, you can see we're just encampment, 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 encampment. We are surrounded. So the game gave us a really good start, but also made sure that we had to fight for it. So you, yeah, I'm going to get you over this way. There you go, scout. Just get your ass down there. You can take your time. Slingers coming in three turns. Population growth in five turns. Let's go next turn. Oh, my God. We've been going for a while now. Let's clear this encampment, though. We have to have some sort of victory, right? Boom! We killed them. Take that, you pieces of shit. Uh, I'm going to move you up here. The Spearman's already hurt. I want to clear it before any more spawn. It's very important. All right, so this camp, if we're going to do this, it's going to give us some housing and one plus gold. So there you go. We're making a lot of gold, 8.3 gold per turn. Uh, I can purchase this out. I can purchase the Slinger, but I want to save my money because if we get up to 320 uh, or uh, 215, I can purchase some real good stuff. And I think when you clear, in fact, I know when you clear an encampment, you get like 40 gold or something. So we're up to like, we're close to 200 and making 8.3 per turn. That's very nice. And uh, once we get to 25 faith as well, we can get ourselves a nice little uh, pantheon, which might improve. Oh, here we go. We found a village. Nice. All right, let's see what that is. Maybe it'll give us something real good. Maybe some gold. Who knows? We got to get there though before anyone else beats us to it. All right, scout, you're going to continue that way. Uh, you... We're gonna go. We're gonna go all the way down here so that we avoid that uh, that spearman at all costs. I'll cross the river next turn. You, scout, you're gonna go down this way. I kind of like that. There's a barbarian encampment there. If, in case any computers try to spawn a settler and just rush for that uh, wonder location, no, they'll be stolen. I want that. All right, minor victory. Yeah, take it. They're upgraded now, and they have the plus 5 boost in our government against Barbarians. So they're just getting destroyed now. 18 to 54, yeah. Let's clear that encampment. Alright, so last uh, build for our uh, worker, and then we'll have the 3 tiles with the 3 population that we're working. And the city will be, uh, will be uh, at its highest productivity to start the game that we have available anyways. Alright, so Slinger. Let's go, Slinger. I'm going to send you down. You're going to start harassing this barbarian encampment. The thing about slingers is that they're weak defensively. So if I get them into trouble, i got to run them away. All right, you. Let's see what we get from it. Our people know this new resource may be oh. essential for building certain military units. And they have begun to stockpile it for future use. We should manage our use of this resource to make the most of it. Interesting. So they gave us 20 horses. So I have 20 horses in my stockpile. So I could build a, I could build a horse now and have it for 20 turns. I have to get the horse uh, technology done, but, you know, an early unit to stop any kind of barbarians. Let's see, where's the horseman unit? Do you need a horse? Like, will it go down one per turn? Let's see. Requires two horses. Or is that two horses per turn? Hang on, let me just go to the, one of the late game uh, military units. Like, let's see. Yeah, see, oil, it consumes one oil per turn. So a horse doesn't, um, doesn't have that effect. So horses... I have 20 horses right now, and it doesn't consume a horse when you build a horse. So, I can have 10 horses based on that strategic resource. And I don't even have a horse. That's real good, actually. So, um, we should be going after horseback so we can defend our, our Canadian land. We should get the Rohirrim. The Canadian Rohirrim to defend the Canadian lands. What do you guys think about that? 
as the game uncovers, after you know you you figure out what you're get, what you're getting in the game, you can start to uh, figure out what paths you should go down. As our barbarians or our Canadian warriors take down the barbarian encampment, baby, yeah! Your soldiers hope your victory over a barbarian outpost is the start of a long line of military success. Your progress towards military tradition has advanced considerably. Beautiful. And on top of that, we got two era score. Your people celebrate a historic moment. Villagers bring gifts as they join our civilization. All right, so villagers, thank you very much. And also, boom, our forces clear a barbarian camp and a threat to our growing civilization is vanquished. So uh, our score now, our error score is up to 7. All we have to do is get to above 11. 12 to th uh, 23 is the uh, the normal age. So good, and we got that Barbarian encampment done. And also 40 plus gold. Look at, we're at 208 gold now. So if I wanted to purchase, yeah, I could purchase all these things. I think I want to save up to 320. Then we can just get the settler that way. It'll be real good. All right, so military tradition, yeah. We just got the slinger done. Uh, nice and cheap. I think uh, more of a military might not be a bad idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. A monument for... A monument for culture, though. We're going to need some culture, and I don't want to pay for it. Let's get the monument out of the way, and then the uh, the settler. Yeah, let's just get the monument out of the way, and then the settler. I want to get to four population before I start pumping out settlers. And the way I'm going to build them, I'm going to build a settler and then purchase one right before it gets built so I can get two uh, real quickly. All right, so our builders on the last uh, resource, one plus production, boom. With the land around our first city developing nicely, we can fine tune our production techniques. Your progress towards craftsmanship has advanced considerably for the three tiles unlocked. With animals now domesticated into pastures, it's time to learn to ride. Your knowledge of horseback riding has advanced considerably. So, uh, yeah, it seems like we should be going after horseback riding. It's going to take 27 turns after archery at 14 turns. But we can always get writing to improve that. But once we get horseback, uh, horsemen, we can really defend our borders. So that's interesting. I'm going to just continue mining, though, for right now. All right, craftsmanship and horseback riding. Beautiful. All right, so, yeah, warrior, what are you doing up there? I want to just uncover this land. There might be a village there, and then I'll send him back to heal up. Then he can just go around and killing, uh, killing encampments. Next turn. Oh, oh look at that. Find yourself in a hole. Quit digging. So mining, which allows us to build a mine, a quarry, and allows chopping of woods and harvesting of copper. And it looks like an unmet player, they rushed the Great Bath. So uh, that tile would have been kind of nice. We have a lot of floodplain tiles. It would have been plus like eight in faith every time it floods. But it's not the end of the world if it floods, all right? We have some real good land. That's okay. We're trying to uh, work our infrastructure rather than any wonders right now. Let me go over here. What do we got? Nothing. All right, so I'm going to send this warrior back to base, keep him alive. The north has been uncovered. So the north is there. The east is got a big wall to the uh, to the to the right, and then over here is the wonder that we have to clear the barbarian encampment. So let's just go down here one more time with the scout. Still haven't come across any other civilizations, even though we put ten on. It's Pangea. There's going to be a lot of room out there, but oh, another villager. Another villager. All right. I was going to end it after this turn, but let's go to the villager. All right. We'll get to that. Uh, you can go over here because I need you guys to chime in. So what should we be targeting in uh, science? You guys let me know. Based off our city, I think we're not going to be able to get any campuses going in Ottawa. I mean, we, we can do it, but it's not going to help us in any way. Ottawa should be like a commercial hub with a big river going through it. Uh, we could also go for religion. What's the great people look like right now? Is anyone going for profits? We already have one player going for religion. I could build a holy site in the uh, in the north, and every tundra tile around it might uh, give us a bonus. Could also go for that. Allows clearing of marsh. The hanging gardens. Two plus food. No, I don't need any of that stuff. Uh. Might want to get the Holy City, because if we build the Stonehenge, it also gives us a free profit. It's only going to take eight turns. Let me get the astrology done. We may want to go on a religious uh, path, because we're going to be peaceful. And all the bonuses we could get from being religious with all these Tundra tiles, like uh, the God of the North or something, like you, you get a lot of faith per turn. So I'm just going to keep that option available. We already have the, uh, the boost to it, so yeah, let's uncover it. All right, so you are continuing to go to... Oh, I think we found a civilization. Yes, we did. And they got themselves a settler. It's Persia. Now, 
You stand before the great Cyrus of Persia. I'm sure we'll become fast friends, at least for the time being. It's an honor to meet you, sir. Uh, you should visit our nearby city, my friend. Bask in the splendor of Persia's artistry and grand architecture. We would love to sample your hospitality. So there's Pasar Gede. <laughs> I'll probably butcher that. Uh, after meeting another civilization, you see the need for new ways to communicate. Your knowledge of writing has advanced considerably. Beautiful. All right, so good news, bad news. Bad news is that they look to be just as close to that uh, that river where I wanted to put that city. And if they put a settler right there, you could say bye to that wonder. So we definitely want to expand to the west first. There's no threat to the east getting settled, right? We want to expand to the west. Now, their settler that they have out seems to be going south. So that's good. He might be settling right here along this river, not going north. Real good for us. All right. Uh, you've met the Persian Empire. Uh, we celebrate a historic moment, meeting another civilization. One plus the error score and the tech boost to writing. Beautiful. All right. So, warrior, I want to get you back. Make sure you stay alive. Uh, slinger, we're going to go up to this hill and start uh, peppering those uh, spearmen. And you, we're going to go one more turn just so we can get that village. All right, ladies and gents, next turn. All right, there we go. We uh, spotted the second city. So it all works out. I've sent a trade emissary to your kingdom with gifts of mirrored glass and pottery from our finest craftsmen. I'm sure you will treat my envoy with the same respect you've shown me. Your delegation is most welcome, sir. Excellent. All right, so we're already uh, starting off on the good note here with, uh, with As Persia. As our civic knowledge grows, so do our methods of governance. Furthering this endeavor will allow us to appoint a governor to strengthen our power in our cities. All right, so another Every new feature in this game, governor. Exchanging. And we just completed foreign trade. It gives us uh, caravansaries, which is two plus gold from all trade routes. Maritime industries, 100% production towards ancient and classical era naval units. Not bad. A trader. We can now get trade routes going. A joint war. You can establish a joint war against a target civilization. Join an ongoing war. And allows the creation of trade routes. Alright, so uh, you know what? If they sent us a delegation, it cost us 25 gold. But I think it's important that we keep up good relations. They spent 25 gold on us. I'm going to send 25 gold on them. I personally welcomed, he personally welcomed our envoy. I mean, that's, some, that's saying something. To the kingdom of Persia. I can only hope... For fruitful negotiations that best serve both of our interests. All right, very good, very good. Uh, uh, what's his agenda? Is opportunist, opportunist likes leaders who have declared a surprise war. Well, I can't do that, and you can't do that to me. So let's uh, let's stay friendly here. Current relationship? Oh, minus four first impressions of me. He didn't like, but it's plus three. We're working on it. He didn't like the first look of me. What the hell? All right, so we have our uh, our slingers. We're going to start to get to work, but yeah, they're going to get hurt. I'll just run them back, though. They'll be okay. Let's see what this village gives us. Eureka! The villagers share a hidden technical secret. All right, your knowledge of the wheel has advanced considerably. And here's another great lake. Oh, man, a lot of fresh water down here. Uh, I'm going to go down, just sift through be uh, between these cities, get down around them, and we'll uncover all the south. All right, so there it is, uh, can, uh, ladies and gents, citizens of Canada. We have started up our uh, Civilization VI series here with Canada. It seems like uh, the next thing we need to do is keep up with Persia. They have got a second city. We've got to get a second city. But their first city only has a population of two. So uh, we're ahead still, don't worry. We're making 8.3 gold per turn. I'm going to get this monument done. And then, yeah, the settler I can purchase. We'll get that settler purchased so I don't have to waste time building them. So as soon as I get to 320, which is going to come in, what, how many turns? Like 10 turns or something, then we can uh, purchase the settler. If I was to build a settler, it would take 10 turns anyways. So it's the same. I'll get the monument done, and I'll get the settler out there. The settler will go uh, right for uh, the city. Now, where should the settler go? You guys have to get descriptive, all right? I want to make sure I get that turtle's resource. I'm, I'm thinking it should be along the river. But if it's along the river, you're going to miss out on that dye's resources. Uh, resource until later, but then again, you can always put it. You know what? I mean, you could put another city right here in the tundra because you have th It's surrounded by four camps in fresh water So it actually does have some tiles and it won't slow down Ottawa and it won't slow down this city So what do you guys think about a city right there? There or there and then a city right up there in the north along that fresh water That would be beautiful and then you can go another one right there along that fresh water grab all that Another one right there on that fresh water grab all that 
All right, and then like another one right there on that river, grab all of that. There's so much fresh water. Then another one right there, grab all that. And that's your Canada, right there. So we have to make sure Persia doesn't uh, expand into our territory. So we gotta get a city down right there and a city down right there along those two rivers and choke them off. So let me know what you guys think and I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, Johnny here and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content. We also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of shit. I should have gone with Jose for Nandez! Oh my god, pitching change. Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to God, baseball God just decided to all over me. Grand slam, oh yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500, no divisional win. Trip to the wild card. First inning.